Experts mm. across the board have come out in support of the US report on India regarding intolerance, saying that if things were being said, then there must be some truth in it. An NNI special report. 2015 has been a year when intolerance and the debate around it saw a peak. In 2015, members of the ruling BJP tactically supported Hindu nationalist groups and used devised language to increase tensions. These issues, combined with long standing problems of police bias and judicial inadequacies, have created a pervasive climate of impunity where religious minority communities feel increasingly insecure with no recourse when religiously motivated crimes occur, says the findings of the U.S. Minorities Watchdog USCIRF in its annual report for the year 2015. Whether it is a reality or not, but the matter of the fact is that we too are the largest democracies of the world and we must respect each other's point of view to correct ourselves. Uh, the uh, track record of U.S. is also not very good as far as the human rights are concerned and this uh, intolerant position is concerned. We have seen it, what is happening to the uh, Muslims and Sikhs of um, Indian origin. And uh, the recently when Trump is uh, being uh, projected as the presidential candidate, the entire uh, myth of U.S. policy is, has gone to shatter. But at the same time, we must also realize that uh, if, the, if, there is, if somebody is making a criticism on our policies or based on some reports or based on certain findings, we should not get jittery about it. Yeah, but we know it that if, even in our country there are some people who day in, day out, they are uh, creating the hatred among the different sections of the society. That's a fact of life. The report names top BJP faces including party president Amit Shah and Yogi Adityanath among others. It comes down heavily on its sung allies for numerous incidents of intimidation, harassment and violence experienced by minority communities. The focus is especially Christians, Muslims and Sikhs. The report takes serious note of the beef row that killed Muhammad Akhlaq in September 2015 and Zahid Rasul Bhatt in October 2015. You see, this is all dependent on perception. And the perception within the country and outside the country is that religious intolerance has increased. Now, it does not mean that India is an intolerant country. India is an extremely tolerant country. Indian society is extremely tolerant. But there are some political elements within the country which are speaking the language of intolerance. And that is, today world is a global village and you cannot hide anything. Anything which happens here will be known globally. So we should not feel... Uh, suddenly angry or uh, we should not go in a denial mode. We should understand why American committees which are very pro-India, which are pro-Modi are today criticizing us on this issue and try to amend. Since 2009, the US CIRF has placed India amongst tier two countries. This time too, India shares space with Afghanistan, Indonesia, among other nations, while Pakistan and China rank in the tier one countries of the most concern. The Indian government on Tuesday said it takes no cognizance of the critical report of a US government body which monitors international religious freedom. <laughs> at least 75 members of the intelligentsia have returned national or literary awards, voicing fears that country's robust democracy might be coming apart. A group of scientists later petitioned President Pranam Mukherjee urging him to initiate suitable actions. Over 40 authors have returned their Sahitya Academy Award and over 12 filmmakers returned their awards. More than 50 historians from across India, including eminent names like Romila Thapur, Irfan Habib, B.D. Chattopadhyay, Upinder Singh, M.G.S. Narayanan and D.N. Jha, even issued a statement expressing concern. Actually, this, this report is partially correct because uh, on the one hand, minorities have faced verbal onslaught, but physically there has not been a major right. Uh, that is a good thing. Uh, otherwise, people are not unsafe. Minorities are not unsafe in India, but verbal onslaught 
from various elements of the ruling party, various elements of the Hindutva groups is there and that verbal insult is creating lot of anxiety among Muslims, Sikhs, Christians and other minorities and that anxiety may lead to some kind of uh, violence. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley last year called writers returning awards a manufactured revolt. Jaitley went a step further by calling the agitators rabid anti-BJP elements. Opposition racked up intolerance issue in parliament last year during the winter session to target the government which said some amount of intolerance had been there in the society even before the NDA rule. In an interview, Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan said there is intolerance, there is is extreme intolerance and there is growing intolerance. Often it happens that we ignore these reports and we try to dismiss them in order to take political violence out of it. But if somebody is suggesting something, it should be taken in a positive way and it's better to improve the atmosphere. There's no harm. It happens but it should be, the atmosphere should be improved so these foreign agencies, they are not able to comment on us. On November 23rd, Bollywood superstar Amir Khan joined the chorus of intelligentsia against growing intolerance, saying he had been alarmed by a number of incidences and his wife Kiran Rao had even suggested that they should probably leave the country. Lashing out at Amir Khan, Bollywood veteran actor Anupam Kher said the actor should spread hope instead of fear. Anupam Kher even led a march from India Gate to Rashtrapati Bhavan to protest voices being raised over intolerance in the country on November 7. Early last year, US President Barack Obama has said the acts of intolerance experienced by religious faiths of all types in India in the past few years would have shocked Mahatma Gandhi.